In hell he burns and continues to fall. When hope is gone, nothing but despair floods the soul. He burns and he burns and he screams. And those about him scream. And those about him burn. I cannot imagine. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. All I can do is just try to preach to you and paint you some kind of a picture to give you an idea of what this horrible place is like. I want you to know that the fear of God is not before any man today. Men and women today live like there is no God. There is no judgment. There is no hereafter. There is no accountability. They do as they please. They murder as they please. They have sex as they please. They kill babies as they please. They live like they are themselves a law unto themselves. And the day will come when they'll find out that there is a God Almighty. Hallelujah. There is a Lord Jesus Christ, bless the name. There is one greater than us, who is the judge of us, who is the king of the universe, and his name is Jesus. Then the day will come when those that are in hell falling deeper and deeper headlong into the pit will hear a voice. It'll be a voice unlike any voice they've ever heard. It'll be a voice that reaches to the lowest hell. It'll be a voice that shakes the very foundation of the pit itself. And it'll hear a voice that stops the fall. It'll hear a voice that shakes hell. It'll hear a voice that hell responds to. It hears the voice of the maker, the master, the creator, the lord of the universe. And hell itself begins to rise. Higher it comes, up to the surface, all for a fleeting moment. The soul has been burning for a thousand years. May have one moment a thought of respite. Possibly I can be forgiven. Maybe God has changed his mind. Oh, maybe an opportunity. I'll repent. Oh, Jesus, I'd repent. I'll repent, Jesus. But it's too late. Hell is marched before him. In the distance he sees a throne. What is that, he says to himself. It's a great white throne. It's huge. The whole universe points to that throne. As a matter of fact, there is nothing but the throne. He looks above him, there's nothing. He looks beneath him, there's nothing. He looks about him, there's nothing. As he realizes for the first time in all of his existence, it's all about God and him alone. No big names here. No no identities here. Nobody to brag here. It all comes down to the maker and his creation. One by one, they march before the throne. One by one, the books are open. And another book is open, which is the book of life. And every name that is not found written in that book of life will hear a voice say to him, Depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels there is something worse there is something that hell itself is going to be cast into there is that final judgment for the murderer facing his victims there is a judgment for the abortionist facing all the little babies that he's killed there is a judgment for the rapist that's that's, that's molested these women there is a judgment to the drug dealer that's ruined the lives of countless thousands, there is a judgment. 